Oh, oh gosh, man, I am so tired. I had a late night, guys. I was up until 2 a.m. last night, and I was actually working on this JavaScript machine learning thing I'm doing right now. Now, this one course, and it is difficult. <laughs> so I've been up late trying to get on that last night. But anyway, man, it is a new day. It is now Wednesday. It's time to go to work. Let's go. I don't know why you're stressing, but I know that you will find it out. <laughs> Lightning strikes by my window Hits my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days Alright guys, what's up? So I just got here to work, and if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing a Spider-Man costume. <laughs> uh, check this out, man, check this out. I, I haven't even tried this yet, but check this out. This is my Spider-Man costume. What is up, YouTube? This is Spider-Man, the life of a Spidey developer. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Oh shoot, is my hair okay? You probably already know, but today here at work, we're actually having a costume party, which is kind of cool. I'm not really gonna film it, but I'm just letting you know that's why I'm wearing this at work today, so it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so I've had this channel for almost, honestly, it's almost been two years now, right? I created this channel in November, or was it October? I'm gonna double check, I'm gonna put it, show the screenshot right here. But yeah, I made this channel in November, November 2016, which is about two years ago. And so many things have happened, not just of YouTube, but even as my life as developer. Uh, since that point, I got my second developer job. I've learned Vue.js. I've been able to learn from so many people that I've met on my Discord channel, the moderator, the senior developers on there, my new job, right, with my my coworkers, my boss, my new boss. I've learned so many things. And one thing I think about pretty much every day is like, wow, I'm learning something new. And I often think about the mistakes I made in the past. So I figure what I should do today is actually talk about beginner mistakes that I made that you might be doing that could be slowing down your growth to becoming a developer, right? That that you might there are things that you might be stressing or worrying about that you shouldn't even worry or, or, or like really stress about because those things won't really matter. Start with the small things. So I want to go ahead and talk about that today. All right, got my spider clothes. I am not comfortable. I need to get my jacket. I don't know. I can't believe I'm doing this right now, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> What's up, Jesse? <laughs> Feels like time is going faster than it seems. All right, guys, so I just got out of the gym. Um, I know, I know, okay. I got out of my costume right here, my Halloween costume. Pretty much, you know, while I'm working at work, I was also thinking of things that, uh, of mistakes that I made as a junior, and I kept thinking of uh, what are some things that held me back from becoming a better developer. And the number one thing was fear. And what I mean by this is that there are some people who just get into HTML and you don't know how to stay there until you move on to the next language, right? I, I remember I was really terrified to move on to JavaScript. The, n the number one reason that I didn't move on to JavaScript was because I was afraid of failure, man. Like, yeah, I, I was afraid of failure. I was afraid that 
I'll go into JavaScript and I'll be proven wrong that I could become a developer. Even though by this time I was already a junior front developer at my first company, and I was afraid that by diving in, I'd be proven wrong that I can do it because maybe I won't understand how to work with JavaScript. I think that's one of the things that we make as new developers, as new developers, as junior developers. That's one of the main things that hold us back is a, f a fear of failure. And the reason I, I went to the gym, even though it's a party at work right now, I've been making so many excuses to stop going to the gym. I mean, I kept telling people I'm gonna go and I did go once in a while, every so often, and I would continue. And the number one reason was because of that fear of number one, discomfort, right? I was af afraid of being uncomfortable at the gym because it's been so long, I'm not, as comfortable there as I as I used to be, right? But now I am. Uh, but even more than that, the fear of just getting out of my routine, which is the uh, lunch and just eat and relax. That's my relaxation from work. But now I need to change that mindset that my lunch break is my way to get more energy, to work out and get better and get stronger and be healthier. And I need to change that mindset. And a lot of times, that's what we need to do to be able to make that take that extra step. Some people are working full time. You need to learn how to change that mindset when you go home. Yes, it is exhausting to code after a long day of work right code just for two or three hours maybe an hour uh, but sometimes you just need to change that mindset that fear of it's okay to be uncomfortable being uncomfortable and even just failing alone is a sign that you are improving but if you're not feeling and, you, and you're not making mistakes that means you're too comfortable and that's one thing that we have to learn to do is not fear failure to be able to do something you're scared of. Even if you succeed and you get that job, maybe you'll fail, but that's okay, because you need to try it. If you don't try it, you'll never get there, right? So that's another thing <laughs> that I, I think that junior developers or spying developers make, is that you, you, you allow fear to control you. You allow that to determine where you'll be. Don't let that happen. All right, I'm gonna go back to work. Costume party. <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys, so I am actually in our tiny conference room right now. Uh, I'll try not to show you too many sensitive information, but this is the conference room. Usually you see me sitting on the other side of the table when I'm over there with my office right behind me. But um, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. I am still leaving around 5 p.m. today and still have about 20 more minutes to go. But I figured I'd take a short break and talk to you guys. Now I wanna go ahead and talk about another thing that holds aspiring or new developers back from really growing in this industry. Sometimes people spend way too much time learning a language way too much time. Sometimes people tend to spend like, for example, HTML, right? Um, and CSS when, you know, some people will spend maybe six months on that when realistically speaking, if you know how to study it correctly, it should only take you about two or three months to be able to at least understand the basic foundation of that. Why? Because HTML and CSS is honestly, it's, it's really easy to learn and so, the basics of that should be really, it should only take two to three months, but sometimes I know people I know people who have literally spent like a year on HTML, CSS, which is, it blows my mind away, to be honest. Um, you know, sometimes people will move on to JavaScript and they'll take a while on that. Now that, that was me, now for me, I, it took me a year and a half to understand JavaScript, but that was because I was too scared to move deeper into the difficult parts of JavaScript and programming because I was scared that I would again be proven wrong that I can't do it. But I should have went all out in like after three or four months. I should I should have put in more effort to study JavaScript better and get better at it. I should have not just relied on jQuery or the basics of jQuery, basic jQuery and moved on even more. And so I think what we need to be able to do as we move on and get better in coding is that we have to be able to make a plan how much time we're gonna spend HTML CSS why am I spending too much time on it what am I doing wrong what do I need to do better why am I spending so much time on JavaScript your, your end goal is to either be you know at least have a strong foundation in front of development or back in development or maybe full stack go more stack all right or other different stacks lamp stack but it's really important that you don't spend too much time on studying a certain language, but you make it a goal to move on and when you want to move on because you will only slow down your growth that much more, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the next thing I, I learned from my own mistakes that I made myself too. So all right, let me go back to my desk and I'll see you guys when I get off work. But 
I, I, I want to show you guys my desk really quick. Yeah, my desk is actually right there. The one of that monitor on right there. That is my desk. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish what I'm doing at work real quick. And I'll see you guys when I get off at of five. Peace. Right, guys so it is the end of the day and it looks like literally <laughs> everyone in the office is gone I'm the last developer or at least I'm part of the development team that's still here at the office right now um, so I guess I can talk to you guys here at my desk <laughs> so I'll check out this this is my um this is what I'm using to hold up everything up right now <laughs> I want to talk to you about the last thing and this is something that's very important that as an aspiring developer or this actually applies to even the seasoned developers or those who have a professional job and something that we tend to not do that can hold us back this suggestion or you could say rule from a senior developer who's actually a moderator on my Discord channel. So make sure you join our Discord channel in the link description below if you haven't yet. And he's someone who's actually self-taught. He was a junior developer two years ago, and now he's been coding as long as I have. And he's a senior developer making a lot of money. <laughs> All right. But he just sent me this out of nowhere, and I want to show you this rule with you guys really quick. Do not go a day without practicing an area you feel weak in. Whether whether it's going over that code you need to refactor, an improved algorithm, or or a new quicker tool. Practice, practice, and practice some more but not what you already know. Only you can feel what you are bad at or how you can improve an existing situation. Practice with a defined intention. Be motivated, even if it takes days or weeks. Enjoy struggling and focus on the outcome. Decide what is a pain and what the perfect outcome will be. Work like a dog at 4 a.m., skip lunch to cover more, or spend time on a weekend doing it. Get yourself alleviated. He hit this straight to the point. Uh, one thing that we tend to not do is practice every day, but not just practice anything, but practice what you suck at. Practice on something, practice with your weakest link, what you feel is something that you're really bad at until you get better at it. And then when you get better at that, focus on something else. And, and then when you get better at that, focus on another weak point, then you'll learn something else. And pretty much the main purpose behind this is to improve what you are weak at to make yourself perfect at what you do. But not even just that, do this every single day. Like religiously, every single day, even if it's just for 30 minutes, even if it's just for an hour, even if it's what, you have, no matter what the reason is, make a way to do it every day. Even if it's just for a short amount of time. And what this does is that this number one, it builds a habit, a habit that you can build to make sure that you're always on top of your game. Because I'll tell you this, not every developer out there is doing this. I know many developers who are not doing this. But imagine, out of the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of developers out there in the world today, if you're applying this to yourself every single day, who says you can't do it? Who says you can't be that senior developer? Who says you can't get that first junior job? Who says you can't be better than the person that went to college? Apply this to yourself. Don't make the mistake of not studying every day. Don't make the mistake of not focusing on your weak points because you're scared of how bad or how horrible you are at coding at that. No one codes perfectly. Everyone starts from somewhere. Make sure you do that. But all right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and head out now. I've been at work way too long. So if you guys like this video, man, please, I would highly appreciate it if you could like this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And there's actually a new feature, and I'll put the link in the description below, um, where there's actually a new membership that you can join to help support the channel, which will help me so much. And where pretty much what I'm gonna start doing is a live video every week, but only for members, where I can ask any of your questions, where I'll also be able to check out your resume, view your portfolio live right there for you and give you feedback and help you there as well. So make sure you check that out and join if you want. And if not, all good, just keep watching. See you guys later. This is Krishan. This is the Life Web Developer, and I'm out. Peace.